and the handle and that stuff as well. So our first responders have been acting heroically. I really appreciate them. Appreciate all of you guys. And again, really a very difficult uh, situation to an otherwise with a beautiful day. Mr. Mayor, would it make sense to have this side of the street closed down? Well, we're gonna we're gonna examine that. We're gonna be looking at all of the facts of the study. You can see on Napoleon Avenue and on St. Charles Avenue, we do that. So we'll consider that. A lot of it has to do with crowd size and me and, and having the ability to move traffic. So we'll see. So what we know right now is that one police officer was struck by a vehicle. Uh, the mayor and I have gone to one hospital. We did manage to speak with, with her. Uh, she was in good spirits, but is, is injured. Um, and right now, uh, she's undergoing examinations to see exactly what injuries and how severe they are, but they don't appear to be life threatening. And so it's certainly worth concern. But we do have one officer that was physically injured and affected by this incident. Don't you have to tell us the age of the people who were killed? The age, the age range. The ages range from um, approximately three or four years old. This small child is very stable, uh, doing fine. Uh, it's probably in their 30s and 40s, but I don't have good information for that. And it was 21 injured altogether? So 20, 21 that we transport to the hospital. There were an additional seven persons that declined EMS treatment and transport and did not want to take them to the hospital. And we took to seven different hospitals with 10 ambulances. Mr. Mayor, whenever you hold your press conference in Dallas State to prepare to have specifically mentioned the Brooklyn attack where a truck got into the crowd and you were trying to prevent that kind of thing, um, are, are you concerned at any, any ulterior Well, I think, I think it, 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 it gives proof to the point that we were making that these are, these are potential vulnerabilities that we have. And of course, the closures on Bourbon Street, we think if they'll stay that off in this instance, you had barricades. That's very the hard guy that was arrested right really there. intoxicated that runs through a crowd. We have another incident across the world today where the same exact thing happened. People have to yeah. be responsible and they have to be thoughtful about what they do. So both of the incidents today, individual in Portalette, where a gun went off, don't know what the purpose of the gun going off was. We told people don't bring guns to the scene. Innocent people uh, were hurt here today. Families watching the break. We had somebody that was intoxicated uh, that ran and hurt. It's hard to protect against stuff like that, except having a response like we had today, where in both instances, our officers were on the scene within seconds, if not minutes. The team, I just want to confirm that you did not anticipate that this was any kind of a terror attack, that this was someone who was highly intoxicated. Yeah. At this time, it appears that it's a subject who was highly intoxicated, who struck a number of vehicles and then veered off, hitting a whole bunch of uh, innocent people, uh, who is now on investigation for DWI and, of course, hitting all the people who are injured. All right, guys, let more later. All right, thank you. Thank you.